So my people, we're still there for Badagri. So we say maybe we can come see the first story building for Nigeria. Which are first story building in Nigeria built in 1845. Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion House of Badagri. So this was the first missionary church building, the first hostel built in 1845. Where the people say the missionaries stay, where they come, Bishop Ajay Krada and the rest, now here they use. So we go go inside, make could see the first upstairs for Nigeria. So guys. Please welcome to First Story Building Nigeria. My name is Mr. Ezekiel Soteji Biabono. I'm indigenous of Badagri. I was born and grew up in Badagri. But I have a privilege to work for the church. Hmm. I work for the church as curator in the first story building in Nigeria. Hmm. The first story building in Nigeria, according to the my own research. This is the first documented study building hmm. in 1845. Wow. It was built by the missionary, built by those that brought Christianity, religion to Nigeria. We are talking about the Methodists who first arrived here, following by the Anglican who came later. But both of them came, arrived on the same year and they started preaching the gospel of Christianity. Our chiefs who welcomed the missionary and gave them the land to build church, to have a place they are worshiping, to have the residence house in Badagri. This is the residence house of the missionary. It's named Mission House. But it's because through those missionaries we got the Western education, things was put into written and documented by the missionary. So this study building was named as the first story building in Nigeria. First European architectural design was built in Madagri in 1845. Since 1845, we are now in 2022. This building is standing for 177 years. 177 years. years. 177 years. Jesus. But we did research further about the story building. But we see that this is not the first one. Mm. But those who have built this house told us that they built one story building for this one, which is the picture of this one okay. that they came out. That this is one is a wooden building. Okay. It was built in 1843 mm. by another Reverend missionary, wow. old Reverend Henry Townsend. Mm. So Reverend Henry Townsend mm. building this wooden building in 1843. Mm. But it's because in 1845, they ship materials from England. Okay. They ship the bone bricks, the engines, the iron corrugator sheet, the nails. Those materials were supplied by a company in England called Sheffield Department to convert the wooden building to bricks in 1845. Okay. So when we are mentioned those materials, we didn't mention wood because the wood used to build this house, it was get from Africa, mm. getting from Nigeria taken into England, but they treated it and brought it back mm. to build this house. So all this wood that you are seeing here today, we have not touched it since 1842. 
Wow. And you will see the thickness and the strong of this view when you are going out, when you're going up. But before we go up, there's something we need to see here, which is talking about the first story building in Nigeria, the graphical architecture's map as at 1843. Wow. So it showed how the land map of these yeah. areas and also showing us how this compound it was wow. looked like then. So and you see this compound was fenced out mm. then, but not only one building was built in this compound. Wow. We've seen so many houses in this compound, but we can figure the wooden building mm. house was being in the middle why other buildings were built around of those buildings but see let's count from here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten mm. now we have ten building inside of this building then in 1843 but today we have seen what we only one so because wood was used to build all those buildings. All those buildings collapsed. It's because only one will convert to bricks standing to date. And that's it. The house called the Mission House and named the first what story building in Nigeria. We have the farmland, mm. very, very big, at the front of this water here. You see people inside the boat yes. and see the entrance where they are coming to come and fish. So they teach people how to fishing and to also wow. farms. But they teach them their own mechanizing farming. Mm. So because our people believe in the farming before they came. Wow. So now let's pass this corridor to see the total amount of the money was used to build this house. Now there's something that the missionary came out with is something here. They're talking mm. about that this house is built of sound of African wood, principally of what we call brimstone. Wow. It is 10 feet raised from the ground on 26 stout and durable tree called Gabi tree and a species of coconut tree and on nine other smaller tree. Mm. It is 44 feet in length and 26 feet in breadth and wide. It is estimated to cost 325 pounds. Mm. Total amount of the money was used to build this house is 325 pounds. Wow. And this is the list of the houses we are built in this compound. Wow. That you can see the list of those houses. The church, the mission the house, house, kitchen, the kitchen schoolmaster dwellings, dwellings, boarding schools, schools laborers' dwellings, well interpreters' house, and watch watch man man dwellings. And wow, shade and capital shop, shop, widow and squatter, and uh, so, shelter, and shelters, and vegetable garden, wow. rice right garden. So, so this wow. art, what was built in this compound. Now, complete you can beauty. see how the complete of everything now there's a room here we need to talking about the uh the room of the first western teacher okay room of the first western teacher there's something they read they wrote there that the room of the first teacher in nigeria mr claudio spirit 1845 to 1868 the name of the first primary school in nigeria was saint thomas primary school established 1845 with 40 men men are first set of students that enroll primary school under the missionary schools wow. because missionary view this school and they named the school saint thomas primary school men who attended the school the youngest in class is age 45 years wow. to attend this school named saint thomas primary school the oldest in class that attend the school they attend the primary schools at the age of 58 years. Wow. And those students that we're talking about, each one of them spent 12 years in primary school. And that's a picture of the school and the picture of the first Western teacher that taught our people how to read and how to right. write. There's a room that we need to see.
seen the two bedrooms over there. We have seen another two bedroom there. But we see the sitting rooms at the middle. Yeah. But in these sitting rooms, there's something that we need to see here. Because we're talking about the historical Agia what? Tree. So under this tree, Christianity was first proclaimed in Nigeria in September 1842. And the first Christmas was first celebrated in December 1842. When gospel started, it was started under this tree. When Christmas was celebrated, Christmas was celebrated under this tree in Badagi 1842. Mm. But the tree is the most study in Badagi today. Mm. So the, yeah, the tree stand for 350 years before it was there. Wow. So at this point of this tree, this is the movement was did there okay. to replace the falling of the okay. Ahia tree in Badagi. Okay. So they also mentioned to us that Reverend Thomas B. Freeman from Western Missionary that first preached under the tree. Reverend Henry Townsend from Anglican Missionary that also preached under what the tree, same year with Methodists. But both of them celebrated the Christmas together in 1842. But the tree fell in Badaga on the 20 June 1959. Mm -hmm. But one of the reverend that preached the gospel under the tree, he made a comment about the building. But the comment applied to every people that pay a visit to foster a building. Mm -hmm. That's a comment. The man said what? The house is strong and what? Okay. And we proved very comfortable during the erection. Many persons have come to see it, especially on the single road. It's been the first I have ever what seen. Mm. But here today, to pass news to Nigerians outside and people all over the world that I have been there, have covered this building alive. I'm seeing this building alive, and we are seeing this story building alive, and the building is still what? The building is still standing. So that's the, the comment of the man. We also see the pictures of the, I mean, the name of the man wow. who also built the house in 1845, Reverend C. Ingoman. Because that's the man who came with the materials, was brought from England, the bond bricks, the engines, and the iron corrugated sheet and nails were used to build this house. Like I told you that the wood materials was get from here, yeah. and it was used for the for the decking and the staircase. Now, this is talking about the picture of the Christmas celebrated in Badagri in 1923, and it was written on the chest of those people. They wrote 1923, Badagri married Espans on the chest of those Africans. Those Africans were not wearing food. Look at the pictures, Barry. They were being not half naked. Mm. But they were working for company in Badagri, not for the missionaries. But wow. those company treat them like slaves. Because wow. they wrote something on their chest. They wrote 1923, Badagri, Mary has smiles on the chest of those people. Now we need to take this staircase and to go up to see the room of a man called Bishop Samuel Ajayi Kaga. Now, which means our people were still treating our people like slaves. Like slaves. Not even the white men then. Yes. So, but this one, it was a white man. Okay, that was, was, was why they treating our people like slaves. People like slaves here. Because our people were not wearing clothes. Why those white men wearing white clothes yeah. and sit on the bench? And our people stand at the back and they wrote something on their chest. Now, this take is to go up and to see the room of a man called Bishop Samuel Ajayi Crowder. Well, this staircase has been like this? This staircase was renovated. It had been like this, but it was renovated in 1990. Okay. That's when they changed the wood in okay. 1990. Only the wood of this staircase. That was changed? There was changed. But they have not changed any other wood that we are going to step on it now. Hmm. So, this one that we are stepping on is now. Since 1842, we have not changed it. Since 1842? 1842. Only the staircase, the wood of that staircase will change. Wow. So, now this is the room of a man called Bishop Samuel Ajayi Crowder. Okay. A man called Ajayi is from Oyo State. From a village in Oyo State called Oshu village. In his saying in the government. Ajayi was captured when he was age of 12 years. He captured as a slave. His own town in Oyo State. But all the way from Oyo, Ajayi and others were taken as a slave. They walk from Oyo to Badagri. And this man was age of 12 years then. So when they get to Badagri, they have to march all of them at slave ports. I mean, at slave market. Because we have slave market where they are formerly the option slaves. Because our chiefs now go and meet those who are brought slaves. Our chiefs stand as a middleman. Our king in Badagri stand as the middleman between the white and the black. They are the ones who handing over slaves. 
to those Europeans then because those Europeans were settled with them in Badagri. So they pulled them into well, after the Europeans were buying state, they pulled them into the boat from here and take them to the island called Point of No Return. I believe you have been there. You have yes, returned. Been there. So now the man Ajay Krada also returned as we return from the point of no return because when the ship is taking Ajay to Portugal, the British Navy stop them and free those slaves mm -hmm. and return them to Freetown in Sierra Leone. They return those slaves to Freetown in Sierra Leone. From there, Ajay was trained by the missionary at Sierra Leone and trained by a man called Crowder. So that's the reason why Ajay is being what his master's name. So his master's name called Ikrada. His master is a priest. He baptized Ajayi and named Ajayi Samuel. The biological name of the man is Ajayi. Mm -hmm. And he attained school in Sierra Leone called Forabi College. From Forabi College, he was sent to School of Theology and become a priest. In School of Theology, I become a priest. So one of the reverend in Church of Canterbury returned Ajayi back home to Nigeria. That is the reverend Henry Townsend. Reverend Townsend that lead the CMA missionary to Nigeria. And he was one that returned Ajayi to Nigeria because he needed the help of Ajayi. Because he believed he would understand that somebody have to yeah, somebody have to speak their language, mm -hmm. talk to, this, to their people. So he returned Ajayi. Ajayi is the one speaking with people and interpret, interpret whatever they are saying in English to to Yoruba and so some other language. Ajayi was the one that translated this English Bible to Yoruba in 1845. This wow. Bible is 180 years. Wow. This, Euro, this English Bible, his first King James Version, is 180 years. And this Yoruba Bible is 177 years. Wow. This Yoruba Bible translated by a man called Bishop Samuel Ajayi. So, so me, it was Bishop uh, Samuel Ajayi Kradam that now translates the, the English, English Bible to Yoruba Bible. Yoruba Bible. To Yoruba Bible sir. Wow. So that's the first King James Version and first Yoruba Bible, the first print and printed and given to Ajayi. That's the Yoruba. So now with this research further that this young man that we see the pictures of him at the back of Ajayi, he worked with Ajayi, but the young man later become the hand law to Ajayi because they married to Ajayi Krada daughter. Mm. So Ajayi Krada daughter who married to this young man and gave it to a man called Abat Macaulay. This is the father to Abba Macaulay. His name called Reverend Babinti Macaulay. Okay, okay, that's the father of uh, yes. later yeah, Abba Macaulay. Abba Macaulay. So his oh. name is Babinti Macaulay. Hmm. He's a father to Abba Macaulay. So, we see another room there where we see the missionary role in abolition of the slave trade in Badagri. So the missionary road in abolition of the slavery in Badagri. You can see there was a time that the chief in Badagri and the missionary were signed the letter of the treat of the abolition of the slave trade. Mm. So that our chiefs tell those missionaries that they are not going back to be selling slaves. They want to support the missionary fully. But they support the missionary in March 1852 that they want slave trade to end. But some of our chiefs also go back and started selling slaves after they have signed the letter of the treaty. So we after signing the letter of treaty, they still return back, they still to, return continue back to continue with the slave trade business. Slave trade. So they, this place is supposed to end in March 1852. But the stop in Badagri in 1888 wow. lasted for 400 years. Wow. Slave trade. And these are the pictures of those missionaries that talked to this. I mean, that came here to come and preach gospel. And we have Methodist man, and we have Agrippa man, and that's man called Reverend Thomas Bechtelman, and this is man called Reverend Henry Town Saint from Aglican. And this is the man that built the story building, Reverend C.A. Govan. The third man here was one building that, story, built house. that built this house with the materials they imported from England. Now, we see in the last room before we go downstairs. Now, this is the picture of the front view of the story building built in 1845 and this is the picture of the church was built in this compound with a wooden church mm. now the buildings have collapsed wow. so that's where you see some women were praying there and, and they then so, yes, 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 so this is the chair since 1915 the chair is 107 years old chair now this very chair this very chair that's wow. one of the chair of this missionary now we see the pictures of the cemetery 
where those missionaries were buried. That's the resting place where they buried those missionaries. Numbers of the missionaries died and buried in Badagri is 240. Wow, those missionaries. That's the resting place for those missionaries. Now we see this saving bank, like a boat where they kept money mm. and some of the valuables items. But we're going to see some money inside of these saves. But money we are going to see inside of this save, and that is the money that our forefathers spent before from calories from coins money introduced to us by the British called fighting and shilling and penny. Mm. Later we changed to Nera and Kobo 1973 and later we changed from those coins money we changed to note money. All those momentum of the money that we have spent in Africa and Nigeria. So that is the money that we have. have, have so that is the So we're going to see audience I bring to you money house. This card. We have the coins money here and we have the calories and we have the shillings and we have the pennies there. So those coins money which was introduced to us. Later we have some notes money. Which like I told that we have some holding this note money. Yeah. We have old of one naira. We have old of twenty naira, old of five naira. All those money it was introduced to us. We seen those money here. These are money that people spend. Look at the old of 50 cobble. Mm. All this money, these are money that we are using to enlighten the younger ones now, which they have not even spent or come here. Uh, yeah, they have not even spent this money in their own time. So these are money that we have inside of this stage. So all this money we keep it to enlighten the younger ones. So that is what we have inside of the story building. Don't forget, we have six bedrooms inside of this building, wow. two sitting rooms inside of this building, and four store. But no toilet inside of this building, no kitchen, no bedroom inside of this building. Kitchen, toilet, and bedroom were built outside. Now we are going outside now to look at Joe's building that it was built outside that it have collapsed. We are also going to see a well called Miracle Well. Although people were named the well water miracle well today because missionary named the well Mission Well. Mm. But today Not people have miracle. changed the name of the water to Miracle Well. So let's go there and see the water. You mean this one has been like this? Yes sir. It's 19, it's 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, yes. Wow. You try for being able to maintain the building. So, George. So, this is the well dug by the missionary in 1842. Hmm. So, missionary dug this well water so that they can make use with water. And the water make use with them because they discovered that well water in Badagre is half color and it's half taste. So, this is the only well water around of this place that is clean and tasteless. So, since 1842, it has never run dry, it has never changed colors. Now, people in Badagi does not know what God has done for them through these uh, missionaries or what God has done for them. Now, when people that come from outside, seeing that Badagi have a historical place, ah, God may need to do this and need to do this. Oh, now, when people come here with the faith, people come here and pay a visit that this well water, what he told us that it has never run dry, it has never changed color. I have faith, I believe in God. But if I'm going home, I'll take a little of this water inside a small container. But I'll go and pray on it. Those who take the water at home to pray on it, to add their faith believing on the water, it work for them mm. just like that. And they come back to name the well water Miracle Well. Now, people in Badagi now develop faith that fine, other people come from outside to come and take this well water. It work for them. We, we are going to be owing a prayer every Thursday here. That's the reason why you see some women were praying there. You should look at, look at the water inside the small place where they wrote the church. Mm. Where they wrote the church, you see a lot of water there. Yeah. So that water they put there because that's where the, the first church was started. Okay. So they go there to, they put their water there 
but all their prayers is money they were praying to that, that water to that water so with their prayer they take the water at home they use the water it work for them so they also they also testify with what have with god what god have done for them so they also name the well water miracle well or water of life I, Mr. Ezekiel Soteji Biavuni, I work for the Dow of Adagri, Anglican Communion Church of Nigeria, and I work for them as a curator in charge of the story building. Thank you for coming to Adagri, and thank you for visiting the first story building.